What's up everyone, Moses the Trainer here and today we're going to go over how you can build your own gym with minimal equipment for less than $100. Yes, you heard that right, it's less than $100. Now of course it's not going to be a multi-million gym and it's not going to be say a garage gym, but it's going to be something that will help you go from beginner all the way to advanced. Now tell me something, do you actually miss the gym? And when was the last time that you were at the gym? To be honest, after spending a little bit more than 10 years working at the gym, yeah, 10 years, and going there at least five or six times a week, I have to say, not going to the gym, I'm, I'm a little bit sad myself. Video guy, can you add some tears in the post edit? What, was that? Not on the budget. The question is, how do you get your moves on without a gym, a garage, or any of those 1960s clunky racks and dumbbells and barbells? Well, today is the day that you find out that you never needed all that equipment to begin with. And the real reason you were going to the gym all along was to wear those tight yoga pants that you knew were two sizes too small. Yes. I'm talking about you, Johnny. In all seriousness, guys, yes, you can work out at home with very minimal equipment. You don't need a garage, you don't need a gym, and I believe, more importantly, you can make more progress than when you were going to the gym once a month, in a good month. Now, before we get to the equipment, I just want to tell you why I know for a fact that you can do better at home than when you were going to the gym. Going to the gym requires more time than you think. First of all, you have to get ready to go to the gym, which means you have to put on your makeup, get dressed, you have to grab your, your gym bag. Conservatively, all of that should take you about 10 minutes. And then you have to actually get to the gym. So on average, most people commute between 15 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna say 20 minutes for that. And also that depends on traffic. I know people that go 30 or 40 minutes just to get to the gym. Now, if you're smart, which if you're watching this channel actually means you are, and you're subscribed, you do a warm up. This can take another easily 10 minutes, unless you're like 11 years old and you have no issues and you have amazing joints, you have to do a warm up, and I hope you're doing one. Then the workout itself can take between 45 minutes to an hour depending what type of training that you're actually doing. That's not even including all those deadlifts that you were doing to impress that girl in the cardio machine. Yeah, those deadlifts. Now, I know some of you are doing post-workout cardio, which is actually a good thing. That's gonna add another 10 minutes. The commute back is gonna be another 20 minutes. And once you're home, taking a shower and getting ready for work, that's gonna be another 30 minutes at the minimum. So in total, you're talking about an hour and a half, but more realistically, about two hours just to do that one workout. Now, that's a whole lot of time to fit in those yoga pants. The next thing I hear people complain about is, oh, there's just not enough resistance when you're using resistance bands. You can't even do 20 push-ups with good form and good tempo. In fact, you know what? Hand over your gym membership card right now. Hand it over. This is your Weight Watchers card. The fact is, guys, if you get all the tools I'm about to reveal in the next few minutes, you're gonna get a complete workout and you're not even gonna miss the gym ever again. You can go from beginner all the way to advanced. So you can finally do those 25 push-ups. Yes, I'm adding five more because I saw you cheating over there. So without further ado, this is what I personally have in my own gym. It's not the only things I have, but it's what I have in my gym that I got from Amazon for less than $100. And you know, I already posted those links in the description below, so you can find them right on Amazon. The first thing that you're gonna need is resistance bands. So these are the ones that I have. I bought them from Amazon. What I love about them is that you can go from five pounds and stack them and bring it all the way to over 150 pounds. Now you can do 90% of all the exercises at the gym 
just with these guys and let me show you what I mean. You can do bicep curls, shoulder raises, you can do chest presses, mm. rows, and if you need more resistance, as I was mentioning, you can stack them one by one by one and get all the resistance that you can possibly need. So now you know why I love resistance bands. Over the past six months to a year, this is the only thing that I've used and not only I've been able to maintain my muscle mass, but actually make gains. So what happens if you don't have these hooks that I installed in my gym? How would you do it at home? Well, there is an easy fix for that and it's called a door anchor. So let's go ahead and show you how that works. And this is the piece of equipment that you're gonna need to do all these exercises right at home. Link in the description below. Here's how I want you to set it up. Open your door, whichever part of your house you wanna work out. Put the ball on the outside of the door. Make sure that it's hooked. Give it a couple of tugs. Close the door, very important to close that. And make sure that nobody comes in from the other side. And then very simply, you just put it around the hook area like this. And then you're ready to do all kinds of movement. Now, the resistance bands are mainly for the upper body. It's true, you can do a couple of exercises for the lower body, but there's actually something different and better that you can use. Now, I know if I don't show you something, in a couple of weeks, those yoga pants are going bye-bye. So here's what I got for you. There's something called loop bands, and there's many different kinds. Right now I have this one, it's a rubber band, but there's others that are made of fabric. So you decide which one you like. These are my favorite ones, and look for the link in the description below. With a loop band just above your ankles, you can do sidewalks to exercise the glutes. You could also do squats, increasing the intensity as you push those knees out against the band. And last but not least, you're going to need a yoga mat. You don't want to be messing up your knees by going on something that is not really, really soft. So here's my yoga mat. I know it looks pink, but we've been having some color issues with the camera. It's, uh, it's actually red. All of these tools I just mentioned, guys, should cost you less than $100. Now, if you have it in your budget, I would also recommend these next three things that I think are going to make a difference. Number one is the water bottle. That's common sense. The better hydrated you are, the better your workouts are going to be. Number two is going to be a TRX. There's so many exercises with the TRX that you're not going to believe everything that you can do there. You can do lower body, upper body, core. It's a whole nother world. So I would recommend the TRX as well. And finally, I would recommend a deep tissue massager. This is gonna help your muscles relax. It's gonna work out the knots and it's gonna help you perform even better when you're doing these at home workouts. And never mind the fact that it just uh, feels amazing. Even if you have all these tools or a garage gym, or if you decide to go back to your regular gym, I want you to remember something. Exercise is only 30% of the results. 30%, that's it. And that's if you're exercising four or five times a week, then you get the 30%. So where does the rest of it come from? Well, the rest, the 70%, comes from having good eating habits. Yes, good eating habits are gonna make much more of a difference in your workouts. So even with all these tools, the gym, the garage gym, none of it's gonna matter if you don't put a little bit of effort into improving what you're eating every day. So I encourage you to do small changes in your nutrition and you're gonna see that those small nutritional changes add up to a big thing at the end of the month, at the end of six months, or at the end of a whole year. In the meantime, I wish you all the best like and subscribe to my channel. In fact, actually do that right now while I go ahead and do two squats. Uno.
deeper. Those. Great. So enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one. Adios muchachos.